G'day, this is Annie and welcome to my Gold Nugget Detecting Channel. This is my second video about how to find gold in Queensland using GeoRes Globe. In the first video, I covered things such as how to find a place, how to find a gold mine, how to find locations for gold, mining leases and exploration leases. This part two video follows on from that and covers how to sign into GeoRes Globe, how to find a property or a cattle station, to save a place, to save a map, and how to save a map file and open in Google Earth. Firstly, you need to do this on a computer. So log in to GeoRes Globe, acknowledge the terms and conditions, and then to get started. This is an example of the opening screen and the various topics and uh, options that you have. In the right hand top corner of the screen you'll have the option to log in or sign up. I signed up using my Google Gmail. GeoRes Globe then opens with a start screen that will load a map of Queensland. I then do a place name search as per video one. In this case, I've used Georgetown. Then I go to the base map, add the layers for place names, roads and railways. Go to all layers and then scroll down till you see the option for cadastra. After ticking cadastra, you will notice you have some options. I've removed some but made sure properties is ticked. The loaded map will eventually come up with the various properties listed on it in a very faint green colour. The property names on the maps are historical names and some of those properties now are known with a more local name. In this example I'm looking for Western Creek and under its old name of Delaney of clicked on the map which highlights in yellow. Go to tools, tick on both boxes and the little I for information. In the information box at the bottom of the screen, tick next to rural property and the other box at the bottom of the screen and on the plus sign. By ticking these options, it will save this map in places. You note that the property name Delaney will appear and I edit this to Georgetown Western Creek for my records. There is also an option under places to edit place names. If you want to look at the property and a satellite imagery, go to layers, base maps and tick on the option for satellite. Tap the little arrow at the right hand side of the layers list to remove it from view. Now for saving maps I exit the satellite imagery and go to the maps icon on the left hand side of your screen. Prior to saving your map be sure that you have the number of layers that you want included. Tick the box for include places data, name it and then save as. When you go to exit a map this prompt screen will appear it's simply to remind you in case you've made any amendments that you haven't saved yet. Go then back to the places icon and select Western Creek. Then click on the download arrow. Click to submit your request. The places that I download save in a download area on my computer. I suggest that you rename the place name simply to keep a record of the properties that you have downloaded. Then there's the option for you to view the place that you have downloaded, in this case Western Creek, in Google Earth. But first you must have Google Earth downloaded to your computer. The next step is to go where you have saved the property and you will notice a little wheel at the top 
and then the option to open with. You will notice that one of the options in the little box on the right is to open with Google Earth. Just wait patiently and Google Earth will load onto your screen. In the options listed on the left hand side index, remove ticks except for the property that you wish to view and also in the bottom section iTick roads. Use the wheel on the mouse to zoom in and out and also the mouse to drag the screen around for a better view. If you tap anywhere within the shaded area that you've downloaded an information box will appear. Well that's the end of this instructional video. I hope it helps you locate stations and save your details.